Binary Tribe, recorded in 1994. This is a great one to uh, upset the purists at the time. I think it caused a bit of an upset at the time. I think uh, Starplatt, who, who did who put this out, I think they were a bit shocked by it because it wasn't, uh, it sort of departed from uh, the line I think they wanted me to channel down, you know, the sort of labels great and small all, all want, always want you to uh, stick to your genre, you know, and, they, and public and that sort of thing. They want you to, to uh, stick to your genre, but um, I think as an artist you uh, respond to the conditions of your environment and that sort of tends to drive you rather than... Uh, these market forces because uh, you know you just don't want to be in a, in a factory churning this stuff out unless being in a factory is your bag I mean I think you like to engage with what's going on around you and that's what I always try to do in nocturnal emissions so um, well I mean this is uh, a very much a repetitive beat music it's very much founded in repetitive beat music and uh, the repetitive beat music that was current at that particular time. So uh, I haven't played it back because when you do music of your time, it sort of immediately starts sounding dated. I mean, this sort of, I was listening to a lot of Orbital and uh, The Prodigy at, at the time, and uh, that fed into the music. And also, immediately before doing this, a lot of my equipment had broken down, so I'd... Uh, I had to find a different way of working. So this is called Binary Tribe because I was working more with uh, digital programming than I had been doing. Uh, it's not it's not a case of uh, being binary or non-binary. It's uh, a case of working with zeros and ones and uh, the intricacies of programming these... Uh, little Yamaha synths and little little drum machines that are all linked linked together and working out the sequencing and uh, yeah I think during the time I was doing this it was sort of <laughs> they, they brought in all this uh, criminal justice act and because I sort of uh, I'm usually inspired by rage at the way the world's going they brought in this act which was specifically to outlaw a genre of music which was repetitive beat music and I've been making repetitive beat music on and off I sort of drifted more into maybe um, a soundscape sort of thing but the, you know there was repetitive beat music there all the time and uh, this was the first time that a specific genre of music was uh, being specifically legislated against in this fair country of ours <laughs> since uh, since the English had tried to had outlawed tried to they'd outlawed the use of the bagpipe because of this, the resistance from uh, the Scots and it's all part of this colonialism you see uh, they wanted to, they want to make everything into a commodity and because people were having free parties and were enjoying themselves sort of outside of uh, the uh, the restrictions that were laid down to them, and they couldn't—they were losing on profit, so they uh, they sort of clamped down on these all these sort of oppositions, like uh, the right to protest. That was sort of in, in, was all tied up with this uh, bundle of legislation that came through then, and we marched, kill the bill. Then, as now, they brought in another one. They're, do, they're doing it again. They're doing it over, over again. This time, they're sort of uh, it's all about statues. But it's the same, you know, it's all the same. Fuck them. <laughs>